everyone, this is Janae, and today I'd like to show you how to square up a quilt block. It's quite simple. One of the things that you need to remember is you can square anything under the, the size ruler that you have. So if you have a 12 and a half inch ruler, you can square up anything under 12 and a half inches. So if you want to square something up to say an inch or two inches, you can do that with a 12 and a half inch ruler. You do not have to have a six inch ruler, a uh, square ruler, to square up something that you want to be six inches. So today I'm going to show you how to square up some squares and we're going to square them up to five inches, just a number that pops into my head um, right away. So. Um, we're going to square everything to five inches. So what I want to do is show you how to use a square ruler. This process will apply with a big ruler or a small ruler. It doesn't matter. As long as it's square, it doesn't matter the size. The process will be the same. So today I'm going to mark out my five inch square in the upper right hand corner. So. I'm going to work in the upper right hand corner of the ruler and I want the ruler with the words right side up so that I know that the numbers are in the right place and because I'm right handed I'm going to be working in the upper right hand corner. If you're left handed you would turn the ruler one turn to the left and you would work in the upper left hand corner. But today I'm going to work in the upper right hand corner. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take some blue painter's tape and on the back side of the ruler I'm going to mark out my five inch square so that I know exactly where that guy is on my ruler. And I'm also going to take a little piece of tape and I'm going to mark the center. So that would be two and a half. So I'm going to flip it over so you can see it. Um, I have my blue tape on the five inch mark here and the five inch mark here. So I know on the inside of the tape that's a five inch square. I've placed my center mark at the two and a half. So I know where my center is. Now the whole point of squaring something up is so that your block is centered. That's our goal. And we're wanting to trim off all four sides of the quilt block. So the first quilt block that I have is a nine patch block and the way I go to square that is I'm going to follow a three-step process. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to find the center. Now before you <laughs> before you freak out too much I understand that if I cut this nine patch block down, my center square is going to be big and my outside squares are going to be small, and that's okay. I still want to cut it down to five to five inches and um, for demonstration purposes. So um, the very first step is I want you to eyeball the center, and I want you to put that center blue tape in the middle the best you can. Step number two is I want to find a seam line that I have stitched and I want to look at a line on the ruler and make sure that it's that they're straight. All right. Hopefully you can see that, but I want a line on the ruler straight with a seam line. The third thing that I want to do is I want to look beyond the blue tape to make sure I have some fabric to cut beyond that blue tape. And I do, so I'm good to go. So I'm going to place my hand in the upper right hand corner and hold that nice and tight. I'm going to cut here and I'm going to kind of pivot my hand and cut at the top. I'm going to pick up the ruler and I'm going to turn the block two times. One, two. Because I know now that I have cut this side and this side and this side and the top still need to be cut. When I lay the ruler back down, I'm going to place my block right up against the blue tape. I don't need to go through the three steps that I mentioned before because I already did that in the first step. 
So I'm just going to put my block right up against the blue tape and I'm ready to cut. So let me show you. You're going to line it up here and here. Okay? And now I'm going to cut the last two sides. Brush away the scraps and pick that up. And I have a five inch square and it's centered. The next block that I want to show you is an hourglass block. I'm also going to trim this up to five inches. And this one is easy because it has a center. I'm following the center mark right there. So step number one is place the tape right in the center. Okay. Step number two, I'm actually going to follow the diagonal line on this block. So I'm going to twist it a little bit and line up my diagonal line with a seam on my block. Step number three is I'm going to make sure that I have a little bit of fabric beyond num uh, the five inch mark. And the reason why I want to do that is if I notice that that is short fabric on those two sides, then I'm going to have to rethink my uh, my size and probably shrink it down. But hopefully you've made your blocks big enough that you can trim them down. Okay, so now I am ready to trim this block. I'm going to hold my hand up in the corner. I'm going to cut, cut. I'm going to pick up the ruler and I'm going to turn it one, two. Now I don't have to do those three steps, remember. I'm just going to put my block right up against the blue tape. And I'm ready to cut. And that's going to give me a five inch square. Ta-da! So I have two five inch squares and they're going to match perfectly together when I put them into a quilt. But don't worry, I'm not going to put the oranges with the Christmas stuff. I know it doesn't match very well. But hopefully that takes the guesswork out of squaring up a square and I hope you have fun creating your next quilt. Bye for now.